There are many people who care immensely for animals, but others believe that they do not even deserve to live on this earth. Numbers of animals are abused, abandoned, mistreated, or sometimes they just simply are not provided the proper care they need and deserve. Quite often, these animals are just left to die. However, some are far fortunate enough to end up in rescue centers, and once treated, they are put up for adoption, but in the meantime, they are sometimes left in the care of foster homes. Yearly, hundreds and sometimes thousands of pets are rescued from abusive homes. Rescue centers are also packed with homeless animals because some owners gave them up with excuses such as, I do not have time for him, or I'm moving away and I can't take care with me, or I can't afford to take care of him, and so on. People don't realize that all animals require lots of time and money. Chinchillas, for example, are these beautiful little creatures that look adorable and are absolutely a pleasure to have in a home, although they do... I mean, they require lots of time, usually at least an hour of exercise. They need a dust bath every one to two weeks. They have a natural habit to chew as they need to for their teeth, so expect chewed up of baseboards and walls in your home. These rodents are quite expensive to care for. However, not many people realize that until they own one. And if you take a look at the number of rodents looking for homes, there are many chinchillas up for adoption because people simply cannot afford the time or money required to take care of them. It is not only pets, though. Many animals also face this cruelty and abuse, except in a different way. Day after day, forests are being destroyed and people don't think about how this is affecting the environment and the lives of the wildlife. When we cut down trees, we are not only destroying the homes of animals of various species, but we are also slowly causing extinction as we are taking away everything they need to survive. However, this causes a chain reaction. When an animal's means of surviving is destroyed, the animal eventually dies with it. Then whatever used to feed on that animal will slowly die of starvation, and so on. Then there are also the bears used for entertainment. People have forced bears to dance by piercing their nose or palate, pulling a rope through the open moon, and tugging on it in means of controlling it. Over generations, people have continued to slaughter various animals, lots of the time for their own survival, and they would put almost every part of the animal's body to use. However, times have changed, and we are becoming more of a threat. This has caused a loss of trust. And and an increase in fear and caution among the animal kingdoms, which is causing them to become more dangerous and aggressive. Animals usually only show aggression if they sense they are being threatened or a person is trespassing and may possibly harm them or harm them or their habitat or territory. On Discovery Channels and such, there are people who have gained the trust of lions and many other wild animals so that so much that they could lie by their sides or bury their faces in their mane or fur. Genesis 1 verse 26 Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the eight wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. God has meant for us to rule over and care for each animal with love and kindness. Many of these creatures, especially the domestic, rely on humans to provide and care for them. We are the only living things on, alive on this earth that can speak for them. We need to care for these animals with the love and kindness we show to our friends, neighbors, and family. Animals are not something that you can just throw away. Like every human, every animal has feelings and are special in their own way. As long as you stay loyal, treat them with love, and provide the proper care for them. They will repay you by showing the same loyalty, obedience, and love.